Hey everybody, how you doing? Caleb Anderson back here with another uh, video. I am getting ready for the PEMI loop, so that means a lot of packing. I want to be able to be as light as possible with having everything as possible, being as prepared as possible. So it's really hard to pick and choose which things you're going to take with you. I'm a kind of guy who always likes, it used to be, it. it's different. It used to be that I always liked to be overprepared. So I always had a, like a 60 liter pack full to the brim with everything I could possibly imagine. I need. I had rope, I had all my climbing gear, even if we didn't need it, maybe we would, right? So I was always overprepared. Well, the older I get, the harder it is to keep up with having such weight on your back. So I try to be as ultra light as possible nowadays. We have smaller packs. Um, we pack as little as possible. We pack as least amount of water as possible. I know that's crazy, but I just uh, wanted to show you what I'm going to be packing on the Pemi. We're going to try to do as far as possible the first day. So we're trying to push for over 20 miles the first day and then sleep in hammocks and continue on the next morning, hopefully having less than 10 miles to go. So other than that, um, here's all the stuff that I'm going to be bringing. Again, I don't want to be bringing I don't want to be bringing my 50 liter pack or my 60 liter pack or even like my 40 liter pack. I want to bring my 27 liter pack. I know 27 is a weird number, but I've had, whoa, whoa, I've had this pack for quite some time. EMS, Eastern Mountain Sports. Explain it. So I've got basically my clothing, well, the GoPro here, obviously, and then uh, my clothing, my waterproof uh, that I wear every time I go hiking, my waterproof North Face zip off shorts pants. They, they're pants, but they zip off to shorts. So this was my old Gold's gym shirt. It's actually a Nike dry fit and it's got the little thumb holes in it and it's just really, it's a quarter zip. It's really, really comfortable and keeps you dry and really warm. So for the summit, you definitely want that as well as, as, well as a hat. Uh, I was extremely mad that last video, if you go back three or four videos ago when we camped on the cliff, I forgot my hat and I hate camping or going outside and not having my hat because it's going to be 20 to 30 degrees different when you get up 4,000 to 5,000 feet and we're going to be up there for a long time. That ridge line could be cold. So always bring a summit hat. Well, I've got my gear. I'm going really light on gear. This is my only outer that I'm bringing. I'm risking it going with the only outer this these are my knee braces I have bad knees be wearing these the entire time because I got 30 miles to go I usually call it quits around 10 miles but we're going 30 so I've got really good knee braces that can uh, be adjusted and they have metal in them these are the stiffest that you can get for cooking camp uh, propane it's like a propane mix it's a blended fuel because it's got to burn really hot for, I've got one of the small, this extends out and then we can cook right on there for that. Small as possible, but still enough to fill up our mountain house. So, oh, my favorite, Chili Mac. For this, I had to get my favorite. So I got the Chili Mac Mountain House. That's a great meal. That's going to fill you up. How many calories is this thing? 460 calories. It's got a lot of sodium, as you can imagine, but it's got tons of carbs. It's got 24 grams of protein, 64 grams of carbs. You need all that when you're hiking. Um, this water, it's plenty for those. I've done it many times. And then this, uh, this on this burner heats up extremely quickly, and it's perfect for two cups of coffee. So for cooking and coffee, which is extremely important, we have it here. Um... This is my rain cover, and like you saw last video, my hammock, I tested it out. We'll see how that goes. I always have extra socks. I always have um, wool socks, so I've got two extra pairs of wool socks. I know it's going to be June, but wool socks are the way to go. Pulls the moisture away from your feet. Small sleeping bag. My Marmot, 55 degree. This thing is super compact, super light, and it's pretty comfortable. Great for backcountry trail running, ultralight. My tubs poles that I got with my snowshoes, I'll be using those. They extend out, of course. Rock of my Solomons, last video. Go back to the last video. You can see how I tested these out and my review of the new Solomon Cross Hikers. Always, always, always know how to read a map. It's a waterproof 
official updated Pema Jawasset trail mat and it has a perfectly outlined picture of every trail and every stop we need for the Pema Jawasset loop. I think this was 11 bucks at Walmart. You need this. Always have one of these. You may not have a service on your phone. You may not have a battery on your phone. If you know how to read a map and you have a map, you should be good. Especially in the mountains because you can uh, go to outcroppings and landmarks and things like that that are on an updated map. Also for safety, the boys always laugh at me, but I'm bringing the walkie-talkies. Uh, we can pick up weather. We can also send out distress calls. And I think there's a beacon or some sort of GPS tracking device that you can turn this on and they can find you. Always a good idea to be able to be found if you get lost. Also, I got my New Hampshire fishing game fishing license. So what that does is allows me to be able to get a hike uh, a hiker safety card. So I automatically uh, get a hiker safety card for getting a fishing license and what this hiker safety card does is it protects hikers in case something does happen out there and they have to send the rescue team out to get you you don't have to pay for it it's it's ensuring yourself that if they're in cruise 50 60 70 thousand dollars worth of search and rescue charges they don't bill you for it later all right like i said my chili mac uh i'm trying something new with my coffee, coffee. normally in the morning i use one tablespoon of each uh, one teaspoon of each, a teaspoon of coffee, and a teaspoon of sugar. So here, uh, for two of us, I have six teaspoons and six of six teaspoons of coffee and six teaspoons of sugar, and hopefully that'll be enough coffee for the two of us. It's just all mixed up, right? So we'll get a good consistency and good mix, and then just one teaspoon, boom, into your cup. There you go. Cuts down on too many things. What I didn't cut down on is the snacks. I don't want to be hangry, I don't want to be miserable, so I am bringing as many snacks as humanly possible. And I like to snack, so, for some meat, I got Vermont Original, these things are great, these are the mini ones, they're small, short, I don't know if you can tell that. I got Original and I got Barbecue in here too, I just put them in the same package. Got a bunch of Chewy Bars, because I like sugar. I like sugar so much that I brought plenty of the quote unquote healthy fruit snacks, Welch's fruit snacks, yogurt covered fruit snacks, but then I brought me some fruit by the foot for a treat. Just bringing minimal silverware and the uh, toilet paper. Don't forget toilet paper. This is ointment. I have ointment, medicated ointment for joints and muscle aches. KT Recovery Pain Relief Gel because I have a feeling that my legs are going to be killing me when we're done 25 miles or so. And then we're going to have to wake up the next morning and go another 10. So this, I'm hoping, will help us through the night. So that's it. I'm going to try to pack all this stuff into my pack and see what we get. I'll let you know how it turns out. Uh, the next video probably is going to be the Pema Jawasset Loop. So... I'm going to be gone for a while, but I promise you that the next video is going to be super epic. Super epic. It might even be two parts because I'm planning on filming the whole time, taking extra batteries. Russ, get ready because I'm planning on filming the whole time and uh, it's going to be great. So if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything. Hit that notification bell. Like this video so it shows up on other people who may like it and may not see it. And also comment down below and let me know what you think. I'll see you next time. Bye.